Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are going to solve the Brutus, which is another Sherlock box. Let's start with this as we will be working with the Unix command line. So let's get familiarized with it. Okay, so uh, let's uh, read the scenario. Uh, in this uh, very easy Sherlock, uh, you will familiarize yourself with Unix. Like I said, there will be a file called uh, auth.log and there will be another file which would be WTMP log and uh, we'll explore a scenario where Confluence, okay, that's quite a known application for documentation. We'll explore a scenario where a Confluence server was brute forced uh, via its SSH service, okay. After gaining access uh, to the server, the attacker performed uh, additional activities which we can uh, track using auth.log. That will be a file. Although auth.log uh, is uh, primarily used for brute force analysis, okay, we will we will delve into the full potential of its artifact in our investigation, including aspects of privilege escalation, prevention, sorry, persistence, and even some visibility into the command executions. Okay, so uh, we have a compromised confluence uh, over there. Uh, how it got compromised was using SSH, and that was on some server, and how they was able to come uh, compromise by brute forcing the username and password, and we'll be uni uh, using your Unix to analyze the log. So let's start with this. Over here you can see that uh, I have already downloaded the file. Uh, you can download it from here. So let's uh, see the files that we have. There we go. We have auth.log. We have WTM, WTMP file. And if we uh, get the auth.log, get auth.log, we have some uh, logs from the file. Let's clear this. Next is uh, I have already copied uh, this whole questions and spaces on my Obsidian. Here you can see over here. So we will uh, start with, okay, uh, I'll fill these after, after some time. So we have the scenario over here. Uh, okay, so let's see what it's asking for first. Uh, analyze, analyzing the auth.log. Okay, we uh, can you identify the IP address? used by the attacker to carry out a brute force attack okay let's uh see i uh, will perform less on all stock log there we go and let's see the different uh, ips we have over here and if you see there are some cron jobs i'm not sure if it's a cron job or what but there seems to be open session uh for user id this and it closed some after some time uh, uh three times then again it opened for twice then closed again so we can see that there is an ip uh, 172.31. 35 22 sorry 28 although there should be a dot but uh, for, uh they are using a hyphen i'm not sure which logging mechanism they are using but this is what they are using and over here uh in this line you will see that uh accepted password for root from this ip so this must be a genuine user let's see if uh, we can identify another uh, another ip let's copy this and put it here for evidence as the user just performed the brute force so there will be some unsuccessful attempts uh, for the login let's keep scrolling down so we can see there are quite many session open session closed session open session closed there are root user there are confluence let's see further okay so we got uh, another ip address which is this let's copy and paste it here so if we see a uh, invalid uh, user admin okay from this user and receive this uh, disconnect from uh, over here and there is a bye bye i see so it seems this ip is trying to perform brute force because you see there is uh, all the invalid user admin uh, attempt and all these attempts seems to be failed authentication failed invalid user admin over here invalid again invalid so we can say that this is the ip which is trying which tried to compromise or with which system got compromised let's capture it and uh, paste it in the notes let's copy this and paste it here for the evidence after that it's uh, asking the brute force uh, attempt was successful and the attacker gained access to an account on the server what's the uh, what is the username of it? Uh, this account okay let's see uh, where its attempt got successful this one also failed 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 disconnect from invalid user all these seems to be invalid user unknown check pause authentication failed and password failed disconnect from invalid user 
and we see there is a password fail but over here the password accepted and the root for root from this ip and the session seems to open so we can say that this is the user account that got compromised let's capture uh, let's capture this too and paste it in the node and the next one is can you identify the timestamp when uh, attacker manually logged into the server to carry out their objective so over here the password got accepted and after that this session closed and it kept uh, kept getting close let's see where the session opened again there is a new session for root so it must be this time seek 32 so uh there is a bit of logic or i would say the cross check if you see that uh this is a successful attempt over here 9 uh, 30 uh, 632 uh, 44 but uh, this is not actual session successful uh let me show you the other file which is uh wtmp and if we try not less but there was uh, another tool called i think i remember it it's uh ut ut P dump yep uh, this is the one and with uh, using this we can read the wt uh, mp file as this is how we are able to read it but uh, if you do the cat or less for this file not here you will see that it gives us a gibberish word as it's a binary file so we can't read it using the cat but i'm not sure if we can do the same with less and there we see it's also broken and i don't want to read this and i'm not able to exit from here please leave me alone i'm not able to end this session let's uh, collapse this so you just saw that uh, we can't use the cat and less command to read the file so to read that uh, we'll be using the utmp dump you guys can google it and find like what's the further use of this tool so let's read this and over here you will see there should be a successful attempt for login like this or from this ip uh, 5.2. Oh, sorry, 65.2. Let's see if there is uh, any login attempt from this IP. And there we have it. So this is the one. And over uh, here, you see that this is a correct timestamp when this login was actually successful. So let's uh, add it here as we got the IP address. Let's copy paste and let's uh, define it further how we found it as the log was added uh, into the file for trying to perform login. It was request initiated but to see the real result or the successful attempt sorry the successful login we need to check wtmp file as it contains the activity of creation and destruction of terminal creation and terminal session so now that we have both the answers let's uh jump to the next question and that's uh ssh login sessions are tracked and assigned a session number upon logon what is uh, the attacker session number for the user account from the question number two so we already know that uh, the session was attempted and we can we can see the this is a session number so it's a uh, session 37 where he was able to attempt the successful login let's paste it here and copy this and next question is the attacker added a new user as part of their persistent strategy on the server and gave their new user account higher privilege what's the name of their account okay so after uh, attempting the successful login uh, on the root he must have initiated a new okay there we go we got the new commands which was initiated and these are related to the adding user into group or creating a new user with the name of cyber junkie and there is a new group and new user uh, which is a cyber junkie we can see that the password change for cyber junkie uh, changed user so these are the all logs which was initiated after joining the server and he created a like alternate user if someone changed the root password uh, to make it secure someone can enter by using uh, some another user id like username and password on the server so that username is going to be the cyber junkie and password is going to be this i'm not sure what it pronounced but how we pronounce it but this is going to be the password so let's capture another screen capture and uh, we'll provide it as an evidence as we have the uh, name uh this is cyber junkie let's add it here and the next one is uh, what is the miter uh, attack sub technique id used for persistence so as we know that uh, this was related to the creation of new user with the higher privilege let's uh, check on the miter uh, what what is its uh, sub technique id let's go to the google uh, we'll select 
MITRE user group login, MITRE framework uh, user creation. Okay, so uh, there is uh, there is this uh, create account and it's uh, user creation uh, under MITRE framework. Let's see what uh, this says. So advisory may create an account to maintain access to adversary. Okay, may create account to maintain access to victim system uh, with a sufficient level of access. Creating such account may be used to establish secondary credential access that do not require persistence uh, remote access uh, tool to be deployed on the system. Account may be created on the local. So we got the uh, answer. It's going to be the local account because the user created a new local account on the system and its uh, sub technique is going to be this one. Let's copy this and let's first capture this and put it here. It seems my voice died in between. So we got the login and logout time from the both of the files. And now we are comparing and which one took more time or the seconds. Uh, based on that we'll provide the answer. And let's subtract and see how many seconds it took. And if I add. Okay we don't want to add. Let's subtract. And this doesn't make any sense. Okay yeah I'm entering the wrong. Uh, we need to add logout. It's going to be 37. And here it's going to be 24. And calculate. It's in total four minute seconds but I need the time in two seconds let's see if it can read the time in seconds there we go in seconds and let's try open this on the seconds only let's see what we have here okay let's try and calculate over here the starting time is 6 32 and 44 here and the end time was for the session 6 37 and 24 let's calculate and it wasn't far, it was in the same time. So we got uh, 280. And if we check the other one, it's uh, let's go for the 280. And the other one is must be 279 because it's uh, one second less over here if we calculate it. So we got the two answers. That's uh, one of these must be going to the answer. And the last one is the attacker logged into their backdoor account and utilize uh, their, higher, their higher privilege to download a script. What is the full command executed using sudo? We can put it back here and close everything, minimize it. And let's see in the logs what was lost command. This user tried to initiate over here. There is a cat into the shadow and there we go. We got the command over here. Let's uh, capture this and paste it as an evidence. And this is the URL which attacker use or uh, it is asking what is the full command executed using the sudo okay so this is the full command let's uh, add it here and there we go and with this we have uh, we've got the all the eight answers so this is uh, we'll be looking using the unix or we can use the shortcuts or some uh, other key binds to get the answer faster so let's close this and shut this down we'll put it here okay on the next screen new screen and we'll put it into the read mode and now we'll start giving the answer over here so the first one is analyze the outlog and we have identified the ip address on from which the attacker tried to attempt the brute force and got successful this is the IP and the next one is the brute force attack uh, attempt was successful. Yes, it was and the user account was root. And the next one is uh, we need to identify the timestamp when the user carried out uh, the manual attempt after getting or after su successfully attempting the brute force. Let's uh, edit it a bit and put it back. Let's copy and paste it here. I hope this is okay. This is not a correct one. So is it a 44? Nope year month and 
date, time, seconds, sorry, so, uh, hour, minutes, and seconds. Am I doing something wrong here? 06, 32, 44, was it 45? Yep, wish it was correct. Okay, so we got the time. And the next is uh, the session. Uh, this is the session ID. That's a 37. And a few more to go. The attacker use, added a new user as a part of part of persistent strategy. And the user was a cyber junkie. Uh, this one over here he created a new user over here she whoever it was created a new user and provided quite a higher privilege access and after reading uh, related to the user creation we found that this is a mitre attack technique or the sub technique id which uh, used for the persistence and found this let's submit this and we are correct over here too and second last but not least we need to provide like how long did the attacker session was remain intact for it ended so we got two answers over here the first one is uh, 280 seconds and the second one is 279 seconds why because if you remember uh, for the first one uh, we took the time from uh, this file rather taking it from the log file so this is the correct answer let's uh, edit it over here the 279 is the correct one but uh, even if we do the investigation um, both of them are kind of same because uh, on the both side we are getting the knowledge like from this exact time the user was logged in and logged out from the system although this uh, below one is related to the actual system and this is uh, from the logs so the system one would be more accurate than the log one because it was performed the action was basically performed on the system after that the logging parts came in uh, and the last one uh, it's asking like what's the full command uh, the user tried to run the backdoor on the account so this is the one over here he tried to use linpeer sounds like a lin piece but i'm not sure if it this is another tool so let's uh, paste the command and with this there we go we successfully completed another test block and this is actually uh, pretty easy that's why we was able to solve it pretty fast and if you guys want me to like create another video on some uh, another box do put that in a uh, comment well try my best to bring it to you guys and don't forget to like share subscribe and uh, see you in the next video bye and have fun